You know, when the kids were growing up, one of the things we would do is play hide and go seek. We've all played that game where you go and you hide, and then I would go searching for the kids, and they were hiding everywhere around the house. And I heard of one dad, a smart dad, who every now and then he would just change the rules of the game just a little bit. The rules say that he should go and seek, but instead he went and he turned the television on and he sat down in the family room. And he knew sooner or later that they were going to get tired of hiding. And sooner or later, they were going to get tired of running. Sooner or later, they're going to come looking for him and return to him. How are you doing these days? Are you earnestly pursuing and deepening your relationship with the Heavenly Father? Living in His love and His presence? Or maybe are you off hiding or on your own and somewhat distance? Because I've been struggling over the last season. Discouraged, disconnected, and I'm not embarrassed to say that because we all we all go through difficult seasons as we journey through life. We don't have to wear a mask. In the first six months or so of uh, 2020, it was one of the strongest seasons of my life, spiritually, walking close to God and also physically, and my health and that. But the last several weeks have been different. And uh, part of it's been a back injury that I had through the summer and then uh, a knee injury that I'm still just coming out of. I haven't been able to exercise or break a sweat for two months, really. And in addition to that, there have been issues in my heart, my character, and harboring unforgiveness and bitterness and offenses, and a gradual drift. And recently, coming back to a realization that uh, I actually have been hiding and living solo somewhat. You know, this past week was a time of returning to the Father experiencing his love afresh and deliberately connecting deeper with people in community and sharing my heart. And I don't know where you're at right now, what you're experiencing, what you're going through, what you, how you're feeling, disappointments or discouragement, but can I remind you of this today? God loves you. God loves you. He created you. He willed you into existence when you are the apple of his eye. You know the apple of our eye is that most sensitive spot. You know you get just the slightest little speck in your eye and it just irritates it. And God is that sensitive and full of love towards you and me. Can I encourage you today to go fully to the Father to receive his love for you and live in that love and live out of that love. You know, if you were to stand on the Pacific Ocean and have only a small like breakfast glass worth of capacity, you have access to that entire vast ocean, but you won't get much of it because your glass is so small. If you have the capacity of a bucket, you'll get more than you would from a breakfast glass. But once that bucket is full, the ocean can do you no more good. If you have a barrel, then you'll get more than a bucket. But once your barrel is full, you still will only have taken advantage of just a minuscule part of that vast ocean. The idea is to offer God the biggest container possible. Offer him all of you so that he fills you completely with his love, which will never run dry.